Well, eutrophication is the word to describe some system, usually an aquatic system, that is rich in nutrients. And you might think that's a good thing, right? That something rich in nutrients is good. But too many nutrients actually creates algal blooms. We know that the algae blooms are basically caused by too much phosphorus in the lake water. And phosphorus is a nutrient that's required to grow plants, and it comes from lots of different sources on the landscape. It comes from agricultural areas, but it also comes from urban areas. It's a pollutant that we are sending down to the lake. Um, and that phosphorus really creates the conditions for lots of algae to grow. Now, when algae bloom in big numbers because there's a lot of available phosphorus and nitrogen, they take up a lot of dissolved oxygen as that algae decomposes. So the more microbes feed on algae, decompose it that way, or it just decomposes on its own, the less oxygen there is in that aquatic environment. Well, when you have less oxygen, you also have less, fewer species, because dissolved oxygen provides really a basic macronutrient for all these things to live in the lake. So what happens with eutrophication is you have algal blooms, decreased dissolved oxygen, and then decreased diversity. And that's the problem with eutrophied lakes.